I was about to head out to work, but I just want to quickly update you on my progress. So this is the Knitting Angel's Wings, and I'm hoping to finish this pretty soon, but I actually ran out of this lighter color. Um, it looks white, but it's actually like this very pale grayish color, so I think I'll just use something else to finish this. And then I also worked on my third ornament project, but I only got like this one part of the motif finished. And I'm actually thinking about um, doing something else with this though, which I'll talk about later when I get a better idea of what that is. I just have a vague idea of it right now, but it involves stitching this twice. And then I stitched the skin of April's Blue Diamond and also her eyes. So she looks a little strange right now, but I think I'll finish the cross stitches on her face and back stitch the face tonight because I don't think I can look at this the way it is right now. But so far, this is really fun to work on. So I just finished all of the cross stitches on the wings and I think it looks pretty good. Um, so instead of using the called for DMC, I actually did a blend of white and a very light gray color. And I don't think you can tell where that even is. So I'm really happy about that. So now that all of the cross stitches are done, I'm going to start beading now. So I have these white beads and I hope this will be enough to finish the wings because it calls for a lot of those white beads. And then I have the Mill Hill champagne colored ones. So yeah, I really like beading, so I'm super excited to start beading this. So before I start beading, I forgot to do all of the back stitching on this. And this back stitching, I think it's super unique. So I just wanted to check in and show you. But it says the back stitch with six strands, so it creates this pattern that looks like a knitting pattern almost. So I really like that. It's hard to get the needle through the paper though, but I really like the effect of it. There's so many white beads, it's already really pretty, but I'm going to start the second color now with this champagne colored ones. But I'm going to stitch these with the matching DMC because these are pretty transparent, so I want to hide the thread as much as possible, so I'm going to use this instead of the white color, or the white DMC.
I just finished the skin on her face and also her lips and this is what she's going to look like after the back stitching. So I'm going to do the back stitching right now but I just wanted to show you what she looks like without back stitching. So I just finished cutting out the wings and so I have everything to finish the knitting angel to an ornament. So yeah, this is what it's going to look like when I put everything together. And I say this every time I work on these angels, but I wish I could see more of the wings because the wings on these angels are so beautiful, but it goes behind the angel so I can't really do anything about it but other than that I'm really happy that I got all of the pieces finished and this definitely took way longer than my other angels because um, I mean from the beginning I didn't have a big enough paper for the angel so I had to connect two pieces of paper and the seam is right here and you still kind of see it in, in certain lighting but it doesn't bother me anymore because I think I'm noticing it way less than I did before. And if I do this again though, I'll probably stitch the paper that's on the bottom side with six strands so that the height kind of levels out. But yeah, so I'm planning on fully finishing this this weekend, probably on Sunday. And I'll do a separate video of that showing you all the steps. I think this will be a pretty easy finish because it doesn't require any like the memory threads or extra chronic ribbons and other components like that other than the small items here but if you have questions regarding to finishing perforated paper projects let me know in the comment section and I'll talk about them as I'm finishing this because sometimes I get questions in the finishing videos after I finish them so I thought it would be better to have the questions before I start making the video and fully finishing the project so yeah, I'm going to put this away for now so I can work on my other uh, projects till then. So I think I'm going to start this April cake before I start my next Mirabilia. So I'm going to kit this up and I already have my fabric and I just need to kit up the DMCs for this. And I forgot what these flowers are called but every time I see them I remember the movie Hook with Robin Williams because these flowers sneeze at him. It was just one of those movies that my brother and I used to watch all the time growing up. I think we saw Hook more than the actual Peter Pan movie by Disney. But anyways, I'm going to start this next Monday, so I'm going to have this ready this weekend. Um, and I finished the back stitching on April's Blue Diamond last night, and she looks really pretty. So I think I'll finish all of the skin before getting to the dress, or... Maybe I'll start with the wings after the skin because it looks like there's a lot of just solid stitching on the wings. 
So I want to work on those parts first or at least break it apart because those can get a little boring so I want to start with that area and then um, I can move back and forth from the wings to the dress um, if I get bored. But so far this is really fun to work on so I'm going to keep working on this until I start my next mirror which I'll talk about right now. So I have the votes from the comment section in my last video. Thank you to everyone who commented and these are the results. And we have a tie, so it's either Lilith of Labrador or Queen of Peace. I really like them both and I don't think I'll be getting any more comments on my video so I'm, I think I'm gonna make a post on Instagram and see which one get chosen. So I'm going to do that today and wait two days or so and hopefully I'll have a Mirabilia to start. So I decided that I'll work on the wings before getting to the dress and to make it more fun and also because I just remembered that I had the new Etoile flosses. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I've been saving these because I think it looks I think it looks pretty in this box. That's why I've been just saving them, but I think I'm ready to start using them and I know I'm going to have to get more of them to finish the whole wings with this, but I want to stitch the white with this one. And it looks pretty white on the screen on my phone, it looks like, but in real life it looks more grayish. But still, I think I'll just use this. And for the blue parts, it calls for acrylic, but maybe I'll use this blue. I guess that's a little too bright. So I'll think about that, but I think I will use the white. So yeah, I'll just try a couple of stitches and if I don't like it, I'll just frog it and just use the regular DMC. But I just want to try them out. So this is the results from my Instagram post for my next new start. So the pink are the votes from Instagram and so Baker's Wife and Lilith of Labrador both got 8 votes in total but Queen of Peace got 1, 2, 3, 11 votes. So I'll be starting Queen of Peace which I'm super excited about because this was one of the new Mirabilias that I got recently and also it's super pretty. So I'm going to make my own fabric and I really liked I really like this color that I did for April's Blue Diamond. So this orangey pinkish color. And I think I want the whole fabric to look like that with maybe some little modeling here and there. And I think it'll look very similar to the fabric in the picture. So I'm going to see if I could recreate this color later this week. And then this also calls for a lot of specialty stuff treasures and beads and stuff like that but I'm just going to kit up the DMCs for now and get the other materials when I get to that stage but yeah super excited to start this next Friday So I didn't work on anything today yet, but I just want to spend some time kidding my April cake for next week. And I think I'll just use the same floss keep that I'm using for my March cake because I have some room here 
and also because there's a lot of overlapping colors I think. So I'm just going to use this and I think this is going to make me feel more organized. Um, so I'm going to highlight all of the overlapping colors and write the corresponding number next to it. And then I'm also going to unkit my Knitting Angel project back and put all of the DMCs back to the boxes. So instead of stitching tonight, I think I'm just going to organize my cross stitching stuff. I just finished the skin on this fairy and I was a little worried that this pink modeling on the fabric was going to show through the stitches, but I think the coverage is pretty good. I'm going to look at it again tomorrow in better lighting, but for now it looks okay. So now I'm going to start on the wings and I'm going to try this out, but I feel like this is going to look very gray because I'll be only using one strand to stitch. And the sparkly part of the floss is pretty thick, so yeah, I'm not really sure what that's going to look like. So I'm just going to try a couple of stitches and see what that looks like. So I did the left side with the etoile, and yeah, I don't think I like this at all. I thought maybe if I do more stitches, it'll look better, but I don't think it will. And this side, I did it with the regular white DMC, and I like this way better. 
So I think I'll just rip this out and just do the whole thing with the called for DMC. So I think I'm done stitching tonight and I'm really happy with my progress. The white definitely looks way better than the white at all. And there's a lot of white in this, but so far, and I only did a little bit, so it's too early to say this, but I don't find stitching white boring at all just yet. So I think I'll be focusing on the white area because the blues around it is just chronic and I don't have any of those yet. So the white is the only thing that I can work on right now. But yeah, I don't know how much I want to get done on this before I start my next new mirror, but it would be nice if I could finish most of the wings the white part at least, and maybe her arms, that would be really good. I think I said I was going to start this next Monday, but I felt like starting this tonight. So I started this from the bottom here and I got stuck here because I don't want to do the alphabets. So I need to put something here um, instead of this thing. And I was thinking maybe I'll just continue with the green stripe pattern, but or the grass, I guess. But I feel like that's a little boring, but I can't think of anything else to put there. So... I think I'm going to think about this a little bit more before continuing this, but I'll probably just continue with the green stripes. So yeah, I think I'll stop this video here and start a new one tomorrow. So I hope you like this video as well and let me know if you have any questions. And also thank you so much for watching and helping me choose my next new Mirabilia start. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!